Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Sainar Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. So we are on to the personality quiz, the guided project at the end of section three. So congratulations, guys, for making it this far. But if you haven't gotten this far yet, and also if you haven't uh, read in the book about this project, uh, maybe you want to stop on pause and read a little bit through um, the guided project so we can get going with as as far as the activities go, because I'm not going to do um, so much explaining as far as the book goes, because if that were the case, you'd be asleep and this lesson would never end. All right. And so after you've done that, go ahead and come back and we're going to start off with a single view uh, app, single view project, save it wherever you like, name it whatever you like. I named my personality quiz and I already have it open. And so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. And then this first part, what we're going to do is we're going to build out some of the UI on the storyboard. All right. So go ahead and follow along with me if you have made it. All right. So I've already got mine up. As you can see, I'm on the main dot storyboard. Got to open a uh, blank white canvas with one view controller. And so as you've seen in the book, um, we're basically going to have three view controllers for this lesson. And the first view controller is just going to introduce the player to the personality quiz that's all we want to do is we want to introduce them to it all right and so we're basically going to have the four animals uh, for the personality quiz of what they are um, on in each of the corners and we're going to have the title in the middle and also a button so they can get started all right so we're going to build that out the second view controller is going to contain the questions and they're going to be three different type of questions there's going to be a single answer type of a question where you know they can pick you know between one or four or four choices i should say and then the second type of question will be a multiple choice question where it'll be a uh, type of a toggle so we're going to use the toggle switch on there and they can choose one none or all four if they would like and then the last question we're going to have is going to pertain to a ranged response all right so it's going to say like how much do you like this all right and so they'll they'll be able to use the range um tool uh, for that one all right and so we're going to do that and then the last view controller is going to be the results so it is going to tell them what animal they are and um, you know we're going to give them a little bit of what we think um, you know that they are and 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 what their uh, characteristics are basically and how it pertains to the animal and so it's just be a little something short and sweet uh, as far as that goes but there's a lot of detail in this app the most complex app that we've built um, thus far in this course and so uh, please, please read up on this if you haven't already. All right, so we're gonna go, go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag out a couple view controllers um, so we can complete that part of it. And uh, I'm actually gonna leave a, a bit of a space right there. So that's the second view controller, then that's, this is gonna be the third view controller, the result screen. And so as you have seen in your books, um, we are going to I'll just go ahead and get there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, control click and drag from the view controller. And then I'm going to release on the second view controller and I'm going to hit show. All right. Now, if we were to build and run our app right now, uh, of course, everything is blank. But if we were to, uh, you know, get in there and if we, you know, hit a button or something, um, this second view controller would present modally. So it'll go from bottom to the top. But in the book, you've seen that we are going to inter introduce a navigation controller because the context of the app has changed from the introduction screen to the second screen to where we're actually getting started in the quiz. And so that context has definitely changed. And so that's why we're going to use a navigation controller. All right. And so the navigation controller doesn't need to be on the first screen. And so um, in between here is where this nav controller is going to go and, and it will be connected to this second view controller and the third view controller. So what I'm going to do is with the second view controller highlighted, as you can see, it's highlighted in blue, it's selected. I'm going to go up to uh, the toolbar and I'm going to hit editor and I'm going to go down to embed in navigation controller. All right. And so the, as you can see, the bar popped up to the second view controller and not the first. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the second view controller to the third view controller by control clicking and dragging from it and releasing and I'm going to select show all right so we got that uh, I'm gonna make this bring this a little bit closer all right so for this first screen the intro screen 
uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go over here to the object library and I'm going to start searching start typing label and I'm gonna drag a label out here to the middle and I'm also going to drag search for a button and I'm gonna put them about in the middle so with the label I'm going to change the system font to custom and we'll go um, Georgia just like the book and we're gonna bump it up to 30 so we're gonna bump that up to 30 and then in the label we're gonna say what animal are you all right easy enough and then uh, for our button we'll leave it at system and then we're just gonna say um, uh, we'll say start quiz all right and so we're going to select these two items but you can hold shift and, and just highlight them both click on them both and then at the bottom here in, in our stack the the arrow with the different um, rectangles at the bottom showing the stack we're going to hit embed and stack and so this is going to make it easier for us to maneuver or um, to add constraints. And we don't have to worry about setting separate constraints um, to uh, the label and the button itself. So we've got that highlighted. And uh, make sure that the axis is vertical and we want the alignment to be filled and the distribution to be filled. So it's going to take up all the space. And so that is done very good for that part and then uh, with it still highlighted we're going to go down to the align button and we're going to say horizontally and center or horizontally and container and vertically and container and we're going to hit add to constraints all right so that that is perfect right right, right where it is all right and now the next thing is we're going to drag out four more labels for our emojis so i'm going to type in label and Put them in each of the corners so there and i'm just going to option click and drag by doing it that way and then releasing and then i'm going to do another one over here and i'm going to release and then i'm going to do it again option and just dragging and then releasing with my releasing with my mouse first all right and then releasing with the option button last it's it's very it's very finicky you got to make sure you do it in that order you gotta you got a whole option and then you click and drag but you got to release uh, you know off your finger release your finger from the mouse button first and then the option button second if you don't you end up moving the first item over all right so I'm sure some of you probably already discovered that I'm like man why you didn't say that at first well sorry about that all right so for this first one I'm going to uh, highlight it and all right, so the cool way to do it is by control, uh, control command and space to toggle the emoji keyboard. But I have a sucky keyboard right now, and so I gotta go up here and do it the old school way. So um, I got my first one highlighted, and I'm gonna go up to file, and file's not the right one. It's edit, and then you go to emoji and symbols, and I'm gonna select the dog first. All right, got the dog here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. But remember, if you have a better keyboard than I have, you can just hit Control, Command, and Space to toggle the keyboard uh, or the emoji keyboard. And uh, I'm going to use this cat. You can use a different cat if you want to. So I've got the cat with the grinning face. And then uh, once again, do this. And then we'll do the, uh, do the rabbit. Uh, I'm using this rabbit. And then we've got... The poor old slow turtle. No offense to the turtles. Slow and steady wins the race, baby. So we got the turtle. And I'm going to click on that. All right. Now I'm going to make these a little bit bigger and I'm going to set we're going to set constraints as well. So I got the dog highlighted first. We're going to bump them all up uh, to 40 so we can keep them at the system or whatever. And I'm just going to hit 40 for this one. And then uh, with the dog highlighted, I'm going to go down to the constraints. And so you can do this one of two ways. So you can um, leave it at 16 from the safe area right now and and then zero from the top, that's the default. And then uh, the top is gonna be to the safe area as well. So either way, into the view. Or you can just select 
um, you know the left which is the which is the leading and you can uh, highlight the view and it'll be zero so I'm just keep it the way it is uh, the way it's defaulted defaulted for me and in, in this case so I'm gonna just hit the 16 uh, for, for the left side which is the leading edge and then the, the top is gonna be zero and I'm gonna hit add to constraints I'm gonna do the same thing for the cat I'm going to uh, bump this up to 40 I'm gonna hit done there and then uh, with it still highlighted I'm gonna go over to uh, uh, the the trailing edge and I'm gonna hit 16 and make sure it's to the safe area and then to the top and I'm just gonna hit add to constraints and then for the rabbit same thing I'm gonna hit 40 done I'm gonna drag it up a little bit all right so with the rabbit still highlighted um, we're just gonna go um, 16 from the left and then 20 from the bottom just like that and bam and then uh, the opposite for the turtle 40 done and we're gonna go uh, on the opposite side 16 from the right and 20 from the bottom bam all right and so we've got um, so we've got that design perfect uh, we don't worry about too much for the middle right now we're going to skip the questions VC for now and we're going to go right to the results screen alright so for this results screen what we can do is in our object library we can start typing uh, we can start typing uh, navigation item alright and so we're going to drag a navigation item out from the library to the top in the middle right here on top of the bar and we've got the title and so on the title, we can just type in results, hit enter, and then we can do the same thing or, or with the Navi or however far you got with your navigation word um, with the bar, or not the bar, but we want another item and we'll keep it there. Oh no, that wasn't right. My bad, that's not what I wanted to do. Bar button item, I'm sorry about that guys. It's the bar button item. We'll drag that to the top. And then we'll change it from uh, custom to, to done and we'll leave that there so that's perfect the way that is uh, perfect now and then uh, also what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna drag out some labels so I've got a label here and I'm just gonna option and uh, drag it down drag another down below it and so uh, for this top label this is what we're gonna do we're gonna keep them both at the system font um, but what we're going to do is, is we're going to change the top label from the 17 to 50. All right, so the 50 is fine there, and then this uh, this bottom label can stay at um, it can stay at 17. So we're going to highlight these both, and we're going to embed these into a stack view, uh, just like we did for our uh, introduction screen for the uh, label and the button and so it's embedded in the stack view and we want to change um, the alignment or uh, actually okay so the axis is vertical which is what we want and then the alignment um, and the thing will stay uh, both are, are going to be fill and so we're so we got that done and then as far as the spacing goes uh, the spacing will stay the same as well all right and so now what we're going to do here is with the uh, stack view still highlighted still selected we're going to go to our constraints and we are going to set the uh, leading and trailing um, constraints to zero all right and so I've got mine highlighted I'm going to do that to zero I got that to zero and I'm going to hit add to constraints all right actually you know what it needs to be centered so I got them centered now you know what that's what it was my bad guys so the actual <laughs> I'll, I'll get it right all right so the actual um, stack view should be fill but the labels themselves they need to be in the center so I'll just so hit the center alignment for the labels themselves all right and now the next thing we need to do is that as far as the stack view goes we also need to um, vertically center this in a container all right, and hit add one item, and now all the red went away, and it's all blue. 
we won't worry about the connections and the outlets and stuff in this video we'll save that for later on that is it for now guys this has been st r edwards with swift coding for everyone thank you guys for joining me stay tuned as we progress through this long and arduous end of the lesson project this personality quiz all right happy coding to you guys and y'all take care